Loyola University Engineering Program is an accredited program which uh, gives a Bachelor of Science in Engineering degree with concentrations in mechanical engineering, materials engineering, computer engineering, and electrical engineering. We have seven full-time faculty members and about the same number of affiliate faculty members. This past spring we had 153 students. In the fall we expect that to rise by about 20 more. The faculty to student ratio is very favorable. Our class sizes range from a, a few students to a few dozen students. We have one of the highest requirements for humanities core courses in the nation. And what this does for us is it provides our students with good critical thinking skills, excellent communication skills, both written and oral skills. And they tend to know their place in the world in terms of service to humanity. I work with engineers and scientists, and I can always tell a Loyola graduate. They're technically excellent, they have a multidisciplinary approach to problem solving, and they go out of their way to make connections with people in the workplace or to volunteer to do activities that are outside of their position description. Loyola graduates have excelled because they have this holistic view to life and work. Pathways to Innovation is a national program supported by a National Science Foundation designed to help universities provide the educational opportunity for engineering students so they will be prepared with an entrepreneurial and innovative mindset. We are all starting something we call it Lumen Loyola University Maryland Entrepreneurship Network and this will create a, a network of support for entrepreneurial and innovative activities for our students in our campus. Alums who could serve as mentors who are practicing patent law or things of that nature. That Pathways to innovation creates an innovation and entrepreneurial mindset for our students. This will make them much more effective, not only as a future entrepreneur potentially, but also what I refer to as, as entrepreneur. It means within an organization, they could be the creative uh, individuals has become a vehicle for us to connect with humanities, with social science, uh, with business, with education, and all the other parts of the university. Our students have many opportunities for research. And that starts with the courses that we offer. We have a course in research that can range from one, two, or three credits. It can be taken repeatedly. And a student will approach a faculty member, say that they're interested in a research project. The faculty member will put that up, and, uh, and then the student will engage in research. We have a competitive program that's endowed, and the students can be paid for 10 weeks of research in the summer working with a mentor. And that, in turn, can lead to conference papers that the students participate in, and even peer-reviewed uh, journal papers, which the students help write. Whenever I want, I can go downstairs and use our facilities in order to conduct my research. And with the guidance of a few professors and just instruction, they basically give you the right to go and do whatever you need to do. We also encourage our students to do internships, and in many cases, those internships are with research institutions. Graduate engineers have to do a capstone design course. We have that audited by our industrial advisory board. At the end of the first semester, the board convenes. The student teams present their projects as if they're asking permission and funding to execute those projects in the second semester. The second semester, the board reconvenes and they look at the results. The mission of the industrial advisory board is basically to advise senior students at Loyola in the engineering department uh, on their capstone design course, uh, overseeing them, mentoring them, providing useful information, feedback, advice as they go through that year-long process of developing an engineering design project. Just this past year we had a, a project that would assist disabled persons in being able to drink fluids using an automated drink dispenser using uh, some motorized fluidic pumps. Oil is a very unique place having been a graduate here that offers not only that technical foundation but a foundation in liberal arts and creates what I believe to be some of the most creative thinkers that go into industry. They truly embrace that aspect of educating the whole self. So by really pushing me through the engineering, and it is hard, it's a tough path, 
and getting me to involve myself in other fields, it's really shaped me into an all around person that's able to converse with many different people, even if they're not engineers, and be able to articulate a difficult subject into something that everyone can understand. And I believe that's what's made me marketable. It's worked for me. It works for many people here. That's why Loyola kids get jobs. That's why they go on to grad school. Since we are a liberal arts university, we have a wide range of everything from 170 clubs to Division I athletics. Um, so for me particularly, I'm a varsity athlete here. Um, I'm also on the Honor Council and I'm also a resident assistant. So I have tons of different things outside of just engineering and my coursework. We encourage our students to study abroad. Some of our upper level courses are repeated in every other year. So if a student studies abroad in their junior year, when they come back, that, that course will not be offered. So to allow our students to study abroad, if a student is in that situation, we will teach the course even if they're the only student in the course so that they can graduate in four years. And because of that, uh, probably a third of our students have a chance to study abroad. The end product of our graduates starts with their critical thinking and communication skills. Engineers aren't known to be great communicators in general. Ours are known to be very good communicators. So in a way, they hit the ground running. They, they enter the workforce. They are good team members. They're good team leaders. They have great communication skills. They have good critical thinking skills. They tend to do really well.